Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna talk about the Trust Wallet. The Trust Wallet is next to the MetaMask one of the most popular wallets and compatible with the most dApps. The Trust Wallet is also owned by Binance so it will have the most coins Binance offers on the Trust Wallet support. Let's jump right into the computer and let's see how we can set up our Trust Wallet down under a minute. It's really fast that's why it's so popular and how we get our first funds on the Trust Wallet and also send some funds. We are on the official website of Trust, it's trustwallet.com and it will be also stated in the description of this video. So you know exactly to which site to go to download the correct software. We have to go to download and then we can see that we can download the Trust Wallet for our iOS device, for Android, for our Chrome browser or just simply to Android again, not from the Play Store. We will hit download for Chrome and install that in our Chrome browser. Once we have downloaded the application, it will pop up automatically and on the right side on the puzzle piece, we will enable Trust Wallet or Pin Wallet so we can see it on top here for quick navigation. Welcome to the Trust Wallet extension, the multi-chain wallet trusted by millions. Let's create a new wallet. If you have already a Trust Wallet and you want to import it into Trust Wallet again because you maybe switch devices, then you can import or recover a wallet or you can connect even your ledger. In our case, we will create a new wallet, so click that and we will set a password. This password, as I taught you in previous videos, is only for the interface of Trust Wallet. So if someone gets access to your device, they cannot just open up your wallet and then send the funds away, but have to type in the password. So it's an extra security layer. Um, let's type in a password here. And let's confirm the password. Let's agree with the terms of service and hit next. Now Trust Wallet is asking us if we want to share some data with them to improve their service. Let's say no thanks. And our wallet is ready to use. This is pretty much all you have to do. I think this took me under a minute, but there's something really important to do. We have to get our secret phrase or our recovery phrase, the seed phrase, to be able to recover this wallet in case our device gets stolen, we lose the device, we lose access to this computer, whatever happens, we want to be on the secure side that we can recover this wallet with our crypto funds. So let's click back up your secret phrase now. Now Trust Wallet or Trust will show us our secret phrase and you have to write it down on a physical piece of paper on a hard copy best case scenarios on two different hard copies which you store in two different places in case you lose one you have still the second one so you can recover your wallet so let's grab a piece of paper and note that seed phrase down trust is asking us to enter a password that's another security layer so nobody else can export our seed phrase on our behalf. Now Trust is asking us if we actually, or they're making sure that we actually wrote down our words and they're reconfirming that we have to put in our words in here. So let's do that really quickly. And once we confirm that, we will be directed to our wallet. Now we are in our wallet and all the popular currencies are already imported into our wallet and we can start receiving our very first crypto funds. So we go to receive and then let's choose this uh, coin you want to receive. Let's say we want to receive Ethereum. So we select Ethereum on the Ethereum network. There's also Polygon and there's also Base, but we select Ethereum. Now we see our wallet address here, which we simply copy. And then we go to a centralized exchange, wallet, hardware wallet, whatever you use. In our case, it will be MetaMask. Let's go into MetaMask and log in. So we can send some funds. Okay, all right, we have 0 0.06 Ethereum on here. Let's send it to the Trust Wallet. So we simply paste our Trust Wallet address in here and we're gonna send 0 0.004 Ethereum to the wallet. Click next and confirm the transaction. Once the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, then we will see the funds on our Trust Wallet and that's pretty much all you have to do. It's very easy to send some funds to the Trust Wallet. We see that the transaction got confirmed on a blockchain and also it's stated in MetaMask. And now we can go to our Trust Wallet in Walla. Let's go to our Ethereum. And we see 0.04 Ethereum in our wallet. Now we can also, again, spend that, receive, buy and sell 
the Ethereum. Now let's try something which is called swap in our wallet. We can directly swap in our wallet Ethereum to a different coin. Let's say we want to swap to 0 0.02 um, Ethereum to a coin named USDT. Okay, now we swap. We will see the transaction, confirm the transaction. And we see on our wallet that the contract is pending, the transaction is pending. And once it went through, then we will get our USDT. All right, that got confirmed. Let's go back to the wallet. Once we have refreshed our wallet, then we can see we have some USDT in our wallet and as well some Ethereum. If you don't like the view of all the currencies, then you simply can click the search and then disable the currencies you don't want to see. All right, now we have only the currencies we actually have and own and want to see in our wallet. If there's any other currency you want to actually see, then again, go to the search option and then just simply enable it or search for it. Voila, we can add it here. If there is a coin you would trade actually and there is no coin in trust itself, then you can import it by the contract. So you select a token network, let's say on base, and then you simply paste in the contract address in here and then it will be imported. Let's say you want to import the contract address of USDC because it's missing, then go to CoinGecko and then look for USDC on base, copy the contract address and insert it here to make sure to have the correct contract address. All right, now we have received some Ethereum on our wallet. We swapped on our wallet. Of course, you can connect to other dApps and protocols to use the swaps over there. They might be cheaper or you want to buy some NFTs and go on an NFT marketplace. You can do all that with trust. Now I will show you how to send your money away again. So we will send it back to our uh, MetaMask wallet. So let's go to MetaMask and here we have to click on our wallet address simply go into our trust wallet, click send, um, select the token you want to send. Let's say we want to send the tether, then the recipient address, the amount, we use the total amount. So we simply copy that and enter it here. Preview the transaction, see, okay, to which address, how much, how much is the network fee, and then we can simply confirm the transaction. Now we see that the transaction is pending on a blockchain and once again, once it is confirmed on a blockchain, then we will see it in our MetaMask. The transaction got confirmed on the blockchain and we should see that displayed in our account as well. So we should have no more uh, USDT in our account. We see it's empty and we should see it in our MetaMask. And we can see that we got the 37 USDT there was 1,900 before, so we know the Tether arrived. All right, we will then send the rest of the Ethereum back to the MetaMask wallet. And this is pretty much all you have to know about the Trust Wallet as a beginner to start with using different apps and protocols and getting into crypto. Now you know how to install your Trust Wallet on your browser, how to get crypto, how to swap some crypto, how to send away crypto, and I will show you how to install your Trust Wallet on your mobile device so you can use that too. Simply go to your app store and download the Trust Wallet app. Once you have opened that, then you simply click get started. Now we have the option to create a new wallet or add the existing wallet. As I showed you previously, we noted our secret phrase or seed phrase on a piece of paper so we can re-import that wallet on different devices. So we're gonna do that and add an existing wallet. We have to create a password in our app so let's create that one really fast once done we have different options to restore our wallet but to secure it phrase the icloud backup and the view only wallet we use the secret phrase and it is a multi-chain wallet and answered our secret phrase here and voila we are back in our account and we have restored successfully the wallet on our mobile device now we can start using trust wallet and it is pretty much the same experience as in the browser we had previously before one thing to learn here is that the seed phrase should be stored offline don't defeat the purpose of the seed phrase uh, don't put it on a picture don't take a photo of it don't um, copy it into your computer or save it on a google doc or whatever store it offline and that's the whole purpose of it so you only be able to yeah, restore your wallet and only you. So don't do that in a public place. Do it in a quiet room 
take your minute, concentrate, and then do them correctly and don't lose your funds afterwards. We hope this video was useful to you and you know now step by step how to create your trust wallet and how to get your first funds, how to trade some crypto on your trust wallet and later on also send the crypto to another wallet or to your centralized exchange or whatever you want to do buy some nfts have fun with it in crypto and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment box and we happily answer them give the video a like subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos up here we have a lot of tutorials on different exchanges hardware wallets uh, online wallets metamask how to tax crypto we have everything on our channel so please check it out we will help you out and we wish you happy trading and we will see you soon bye bye